Okay, we are going to go over a brief presentation before you guys get started with the course or the workshop. So, um, a little bit about OER, or Open Educational Resources. It doesn't mean free. Uh, open oh, OER materials are licensed with a CC license, like CC BY, CC Non-Commercial, and you can look at the different types of licensing here at creativecommons.org. Um, but for more information on OER, I highly recommend taking the VCCS Pathways online course. I think it's a five-week course, and it goes over uh, just about everything you need to know about using open educational resources so that you don't get in trouble. An overview of Move 101, there's two parts to it. There's navigating mom as a student. So in there you'll be using mom just like a, a student would, you know, adding threads to forum, to a forum, completing a homework assignment, opening your textbooks, videos, and external links, and sending a message and email to the instructor and another student. So these are all things that are typical students we're going to do in my open math. So we want to understand how that works and understand what troubles our students might have with that. And the second part, you're going to create a course and copy our MOVE 101, 102 uh, online course. And from there, you're going to follow the instructions and, and do what it has you doing in, in that course. Um, so, But you're going to be doing things as an instructor. You're going to create and copy a course, create and delete various content, edit gradebook settings, upload content, um, and more. So how the course works, it's uh, designed to be self-paced. And uh, your facilitators are here to help when you have questions. So you can email or message us um, if you have any problems in the course, any questions. Um, to start off Move 101, you're going to need to create a student account and um, then take a short course as you were uh, as if you were a student. And in the second part, um, you're going to need the Move 101, 102 notebook so that you can follow the instructions to complete each of the 10 modules. And that notebook is available um, online, so you can print it off. And you're finished with Move 101 when you've completed both parts of the course. You're highly encouraged to take Move 102 as well as 101. Um, because that gets into more details on how to create assignments and gradebook settings and, and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the course. All right, so um, this is, let me change it to student view. Actually, no, because you're going to be looking at it as an instructor, so you'll have all of these menu items as well. And um, so you have the purpose and structure of the course, and structure of the course, and of course you're watching this video right now. Um, and you start off Move 101 Part One, Mom as a Student. So to do this, you're going to log out of your instructor account that you worked so hard getting, and then you're going to click on Register as a Student, which is right here on the login or on the main page of My Open Math. I recommend using your same username as your instructor account. Just add the underscore student um, for your student account to make it easy to remember. And I recommend using the same password and same email as your other account. Now, because you're using the same email, you'll get a little warning message saying you've already used this email. Um, and you can just click, you know, that's okay. You're going to use 9411 as your course ID number and leave the enrollment key blank. So once the account is created, you'll have to log into it, then click on Move 101 Mom as a Student. Follow the instructions and complete the course. When you get to step nine, it's time to log out of your student account, log back into your instructor account, then open this course back up and click into the Move 101 Part 2 Mom as an Instructor folder. So let's take a look at Move 101 as a student. So you are totally in this class as a student. 
So it'll look more like this. So I can change my view from instructor to student. And uh, you have your objectives and your instructions. The instructions basically just say to follow the steps. So step one is to post your bio. So you click on this link and it is a forum. So let me do that now. And um, if you want to see what the instructions were, you can click on that and it'll show you the instructions. And once you're ready to add a new thread, click on add new thread, write your bio, and then click post thread. All right, so you'll go through um, step two is the ans entering answers in mom homework assignment. Step three is using the equation editor. Uh, that's another forum assignment. So uh, you want to you want to teach your students uh, how to use the equation editor, which is uh, the little sigma with a plus sign. That's how you click that to get your equation editor, and then you type your math, and then it makes it pretty for you. It makes instead of having caret two, it says x squared. Um, and there's also a graph or tool in here. So this is just showing you how to use the math in my open math. You're going to open a test book, textbook just to see what that's like. You can watch a video that's been embedded in the course. Um, there's a forum for any questions about the course and your peers and your, and your facilitators both have access to that. So um, if you have any questions, please post them there or comments. And um, some of this stuff is manually graded. So if you click on your grade book and you don't see a grade yet for your forums, um, just keep in mind that those are manually graded. But you'll want to click on the grade book that's here at the top and you can see your grades for the course. And then the last thing is to go up to messages and send a message to uh, either another student or the instructor or the facilita facilitator. Um, and you can also send them a, a message. And then once you get to step nine, you're really done with um, Move 101 part one, part one, Mom as a Student. At this point, um, you'll need to log out of your student account and back into your instructor account and follow that. So it says, please ask your facilitator for a notebook. That notebook is provided to you um, back in the uh, Move 102 course. Um, so that's that. Let's go back into Move 101, 102 online. Okay. So you'll do your part one, mom as a student, and then part two, mom as an instructor. Um, so this, this part is broken into 10 modules. And if you click on a module, it expands. So you can see the overview of each one. And then there's a module video. Now, I highly recommend that you watch these videos because it just goes over what you're supposed to do, but I also include some extra things that you wouldn't get otherwise. The longest video is six and a half minutes long, so they're pretty short. So I highly recommend that you watch the video and then go back and do what it asks to do. That's how you're gonna get the most out of it. So you have the directions here on the screen and um, it's good to have them there for a quick reference, but uh, oh, let me go back to instructor view here. Um, the best thing to do is, let's see, I'll go back here. It says your, your Move 101 uh, notebook and reference guide. This is the whole notebook, but in part two, it says uh, it is recommended that you print this notebook. So I'm going to click on this. So this is the just the Move 101 part of the notebook. So it's down to 29 pages instead of the whole entire notebook. So I recommend, I know it's a lot of pages, but it really helps to have that in front of you because this is going to have all of the instructions also. So you put your notebook in front of you on your desk and then you go ahead and you um, complete each module within the module. 
So overview, the video, and then the directions. And the directions are all in the notebook. So there's 10 of those to complete. And at the end, there is a survey um, just for 101. So please take that survey so we know how we can make Move 101 better for you. And um, when you're finished, you'll feel like these guys opening a bottle of champagne and celebrating. All right, Move 102 is going to be set up very similarly. You'll, um, there's a Move 102 overview video um, so that you get an idea of what's going on in that one. And um, you'll want to print off the notebook for just Move 102. There's three modules and there's some um, extra stuff in here that will make more sense once you uh, go through the course. Um, but it's going to be set, you know, set up the same way. There's going to be a video, instructions, and at the end, please, please, please don't forget to take your survey. So let's go back to present. All right. And uh, we did an overview of 102. And then um, once you're finished watching this video, go ahead and start 101 by creating your student account. Enjoy and thank you for taking our course.